Hello, we are now uh, basically almost done with the form building and uh, we are about to publish our form uh, so that it is available for the end users to use. Uh, by the time you are ready to publish your form, it's likely that you are comfortable with the way your form looks and functions and uh, publishing is really a crucial step to make now your form available to the end users in the system because uh, if you leave your form in draft mode uh, it remains inaccessible to those who need to use it uh, in the system so once your form is fully designed it needs to be published so that it can be used in live uh, workflows um, and uh, before you publish uh, a form, just make sure that it is uh, fully designed. Uh, for example, its structure, uh, it, the questions and, and validation rules are all set. And uh, also it's essential that the form has been revealed or validated by others. So uh, let's just uh, go ahead and uh, publish our form. Uh, you can see we have so many forms here. Uh, so it's not available in this first page. So we need to look for it by just typing the name of the form. So uh, the form that we have been building is basically COVID-19 and we give it uh, version four. Uh, so let's say you want to update uh, the metadata fields. Uh, so um, if you want maybe to change um, the details about the form, uh, the version, uh, and the, consult, uh, the, the encounter type, um, and also the description. You can do it basically uh, from here by just clicking on the save update existing version. And now you can update these metadata details. So I'm just going for me to leave it as is. I'm okay uh, with the metadata information uh, that is right there. Uh, and now to just uh, uh, publish the form, just click on this button, publish form. And uh, our form is successfully published. And uh, let's see uh, whether by going to the front end, uh, we will now be able to access the published form. So let's go to uh, one of the patient chat and uh, click on the clinical forms. And here we look for COVID-19 uh, examinations. Here is the form, has never been used before. And uh, yes, um, the form is here and it's accessible. So if we wanted to fill in this form for Brian, we would basically now enter the information uh, regarding uh, the, the regarding COVID-19, uh, as you can see, this is basically the form that we have been creating uh, with the various questions, the sections, uh, the pages. Uh, yes, all of them, as you can see here. Okay, excellent work. Uh, so we have uh, successfully uh, completed the comprehensive uh, process of form building uh, within the OpenMRS 03 form builder. And uh, throughout this course, we explored the form builder interface, we created forms, we configured question properties, implemented uh, a number of validation rules, and uh, we have finally published uh, our form. Uh, there is still much to discover in the realm of uh, form building, and I highly recommend that you visit the OpenMRS wiki for additional resources. I trust that this uh, course has been valuable and I encourage you to continue practicing form building to enhance your expertise in this area. Uh, thank you so much and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.